they'll sneak some shit because he didn't say nothing bad about him. He just said he hasn't talked to me since yeah, yo, That's a lie. He's, I think he said, why would he want to hate on him? Or why I don't, He don't know why you hate on him. I haven't seen Supreme since the Go Yayo days. They they signed a deal with, with Duffy. Supreme wasn't even around. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Why, Supreme, why are you talking about me, bro? Yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. They just, uh, now they got a problem because now I'm talking. Okay. You feel me? I get it. Now let's get to this, let's get I, to I, the, I'm, the I'm, guy that was so you, happy yeah, that yeah, talked about you talking about the shit. Sean Cotton. Yeah, when, when Sean Cotton's on there, your name came up. Now, yeah. now first, before we talk about that, let me just say this. When this happened, I called you because you my boy. I said, look, man, <laughs> your name came up in an interview you really got mad at me. You shut me down. He hung up the phone. <laughs> nah, nigga, F that nigga. Why y'all tag me in? Bam, nigga hung up on me. I said, this nigga done lost his damn mind. <laughs> the nigga got upset with me because of what had happened, but I was doing it because I wanted to respect you because I wanted you to know this stuff is about to come out. At first, I was like, should I put this out? I even asked you. Yeah, you and you asked like, me. nah. And then me and my wife were like, nah, I'm going to go and put it out. Cause you told I me, felt you, like, you probably don't, but you told me you was going to put it out too. You called me and said that too. You probably don't remember. But, but I still wanted to respect you. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you my guy. And I was like, man, this this is this is the culture. Yeah. And, and I was like, man, this happened. So I don't, I want you to know I mean, that yeah, this is how it went down. So <laughs> when I asked Sean Cotton about you, he, he had a lot to say. He was very, he was abnormal to say, hey, man. He was happy. He, he, he said, hey, woo, you know. Yeah. My boy, <laughs> man. I'm like, and he was like, he, got so he never ever shit. even met K Breezy. In his life, K Breeze and them say that you stopped her career. I've never met her in my life. I'm just telling no, you what was said. No, it was like you stopped no, her career no. in Florida. In, uh, Go ahead. No. In, uh, was it Miami? No, 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 no. no. It was some it was, kind it was of way you, It was Go, Florida. No, ask me the question. Full fledged. <laughs> ask, me the, ask me the question. It, okay. The, the way it came to me, and, and, and shout out is Supreme and uh, Supreme came. Woo! <laughs> Go ahead. I've been waiting for this shit. <laughs> Supreme, <laughs> Supreme came out here and he was like, uh, "Hey man, Sean Cotton, man, that dude, he 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 basically stopped. He stopped K Breezy from moving forward, man. He went into a meeting. We had a we had a deal set up, and it was because of Sean Cotton that K Breezy didn't pop. Is this true? Now look, I partnered with this guy with these two guys in Miami, right? Okay, same guys who partnered with me with Spot on Got 'Em. Okay, now these guys when they find artists, their sales pitch is what." They, they want to try to make them big. They, they definitely ain't. Their sales pitches, they're partnered with Say Cheese. Correct. Of course. So sometimes they will meet artists who I've never talked to, but that's their sales pitch. Sign with us, you'll get on Say Cheese. Sign with us, you'll get an interview. Say Cheese, this, Say Cheese, that. Take a picture in front of the office. Say. <laughs> so that has happened to over 100 artists that they meet. And I don't blame them. Like me and Charleston White, we're going to use each other. You yeah, feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, they met her. Their sales pitch was, you have a song going viral on TikTok. We're going to get you on Say Cheese. We're going <clears> to, <throat> we're going to, um, do this. You're going to get an interview. You're going to get so many Say Cheese posts per week. I've never met her to my, to this day. To this day. I've never had a conversation with this girl. You never talked to her. Not one time. If I'm lying, my Say Cheese account going to get deleted. I've oh, never, heavy, right? <laughs> no, I've never talked to this girl in my fucking life. Oh, he man. said, and, and we all, I think you even asked him, would you even know her if, if she even came? Yeah, if you see her. <laughs> He's I like, no, nah, I would know her, but I never knew, I never met her. And he, so it's almost to say what you even thought to say about him uh, stopping her career. Just break down to me what the hell is going on with that. So Sean is a guy that um that I uh that I met when I was managing Yayo. And like okay. I said, um we was all in the same hue, the same pot together, you feel me? So he know I know him and he also know that I don't I don't really be doing this type of shit. You dig what I'm saying? So they'll sneak some shit because he didn't say nothing bad about me. He just said he hasn't talked to me since Yayo. That's a lie. He's, I think he said, why would he want to hate on him? Or why I don't, He don't know why you hate on him. I haven't seen Supreme since the Go Yayo days. They they signed a deal with, with Duffy. Supreme wasn't even around. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Why, Supreme, why are you talking about me, bro? Yeah. Oh, man. 
But but just, <laughs> just explain to me. But but explain to me. He's nobody to hate on. Like uh, like he got man. So this the thing. If you, I don't want to hate on nobody that has at least ten artists in this area and fucked up deals right now to this day. And if they and if they ain't in them fucked up deal, they just got out of them. So you saying Sean Cotton got Sean ten Cotton, artists? At least, well, let's be let's be specific. Let's say maybe I know of at least five. I can say right now that he didn't got down on. You dig what I'm saying? But that's neither here nor there. Y'all do y'all research. You dig them. That's these is facts though. But I see I mean, him. Why they be trying to slap right, him? Wait a minute. Let me say this. That nigga got a brand over there and it's moving. But His that whole, shit ain't shit. But the but numbers it's, fake. Spot him, got him. All them Who? dudes. Spot him, got him. So why these guys this? always be trying to attack this guy after the fact? Rod Wave said he gonna slap him. He he a, he a punk bitch. Uh, Rod Wave said that. It's on the internet for sure. Yeah, everybody know that. There was another little Kevin artist Gates, that came out. It, all these artists come out, man. The guy that was just, just uh, I don't know what little town he was in, but he hopped on the internet. And I seen that. People try to try to shun him like he lying, but he not lying. That's what he said is literally how that dude is. What did he say? Do you? I don't remember what he said. I'm in a fucked up deal and I can't get out. The nigga came lying into my mama. It's all kind of shit. Those is facts though. That's what he do. You, what did you think when you seen like, damn, he got him? He, it's another one. <laughs> this nigga, it's, it's another Who one. is it? It's I a, forgot his the name. Little dude, little, I little forgot. Little dude. dark skin. I seen him going maybe in. From Georgia, maybe. Yeah, Georgia. he's from Georgia. But but the the thing. But but the fact of the matter is, when this thing uh, starts to develop, you know, far as these artists that yeah, he yo has, put say cheese in position, man. That's if yeah, yo and Sauce Walker put that page in position. And like I said, there was there's been no growth in those guys. They was thrust into those positions, and they still in them. And they were some fucked up people. And that's why this place is how it is. So yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.